speak on behalf of the 14 members of the Caribbean community, CARICOM. CARICOM delegations congratulate you on your election to guide the work of this third session of the preparatory committee for the 2020 review conference of the parties to the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. We express our confidence in you and your ability to steer, sorry, steer our work to a successful conclusion. CARICOM assure you of our cooperation. Mr. Chairman, CARICOM member states and with, with the rest of the world, as joined with the rest of the world as we are aware of the unparalleled harm and destruction that nuclear weapon can pose to humanity. We therefore have a long-standing policy of total elimination of nuclear weapons in line with the three pillars of the Treaty on Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. Disarmament, non-proliferation, and the guarantee of peaceful use of nuclear energy. CARICOM's commitment to nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation is further embodied in the participation of all of its member states in the, the Treaty of Takaloko, which in turn established the agency for the prohibition of nuclear weapons in Latin America and the Caribbean. It is a source of satisfaction and pride to CARICOM member states that the Treaty of Tokoloko commands universal adherence in Latin America and the Caribbean and stands as the world's first nuclear weapon free zone in a densely populated region. It has served our region well by, by contributing to the strengthening of regional security and has been a model for others around the world. Nuclear weapons free zones have been the, cent have been the central to reinforcing commitments made by member states and their establishment has laid a strong foundation of high standards that can reinforce and strengthen in our work in this PREPCOM. Mr. Chairman, CARICOM continues to argue that nuclear weapons have no utility in today's world. They are not useful deterrent, but rather cultivate a state of insecurity and false defensiveness that only increases the chances of, prolifer of proliferation with devastating impact on all of us far beyond the parties directly involved in conflict, particularly, Mr. Chairman, as small island developing states, we are very aware that our, our strategic location, marine borders, and socioeconomic realities leave us as potential soft threats and targets to nuclear terrorism. CARICOM would like to restate that the international security environment and the role of nuclear weapons in existing security doctrine must be considered as an impetus to, um, commit, to commit to the NPT and its various outcome um, documents. These principles have continuously stressed the need to reduce the role of nuclear weapons in security doctrines. We must ensure 
that our work in this PREPCOM is based, is based on nu nuclear armed states and other states working together. We must build bonds where meaningful and constructive dialogue and we, and we, are, we also reaffirm that collective security is not mutually exclusive with national security, especially, especially regarding nuclear weapons. Mr. Chairman, CARICOM states have been firm supporters of the NPT and its full effective implementation and to its universality. We consider the, the near unilateral, the near un, um, <laughs> unilaterality of the NPT with 91 states parties as a meaningful indicator of the indication of the powerful commitment to eliminating nuclear weapons. We call on the small number of states that have not yet done so to accede to the treaty and place their, um, their facilities under comprehensive IAEA safeguards. We recognize, Mr. Chairman, that we are working towards the, the 10th review conference in 2020 under the burden of the last nine conferences where most of the non-nuclear weapon states were dissatisfied with the failure of the nuclear weapon states to meet their obligations. This cycle, we do have some spark of optimism due to the fact that in 2017, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the treaty on the, on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. The vast majority of NPT states engaged constructively in the process to legally ban nuclear weapons in the, in the, in the part as a means of compliance under the Article 6 obligations. The negotiations of the, um, of the TPNW was a response to the deep concern expressed by states, parties at the catastrophic um, humanitarian consequences of any use of um, nuclear weapons. CARICOM welcomes, Mr. Chairman, this landmark step as we recognize the grave humanitarian consequences of nuclear detonation and the wide-ranging effects of such an occurrence. We remain convinced in the interest of the very survival of humanity that nuclear weapons are never to be used again under any circumstances. And we continue to urge all member states to sign and ratify uh, the P PTNW to ensure its entry into force. Mr. Mr. Chairman, we are concerned about the movement of hazardous waste and radioactive material through our region as it, is, as it relates to nuclear, nuclear safety. As a result, all member states have inclu included safeguard um, agreements with the IAEA and a number have signed the additional protocol. However, Mr. Chairman, the most important nuclear safety issues of CARICOM states remain the transboundary movement of radioactive materials. 
the, trans, the transshipment of nuclear um, waste through the Caribbean Sea and the threat to the environment and economic um, sustainability on the region remains, uh, remains of grave concern to CARICOM. As we progress with the work of this PREPCOM, we urge all members, member states to recall and, and recommit to the, to the principles of the NTP. Nuclear armed states should undertake and report on action undertaken that are, con that are consistent with achieving and maintaining a nuclear weapon free world through this could include ending moratorium programs, initiating time-bound ver verified programs to eliminate nuclear weapons, increasing disarmament of um, nuclear weapons, ending all forms of nuclear testing, removing nuclear weapons from security doctrine, and increasing transparency amongst nuclear weapons and delivery systems. In closing, Mr. Chairman, CARICOM calls on all engaged in, in this PREPCOM to seek to ensure that this gathering will mark a turning point in the tide towards general compl and complete nuclear disarmament. I thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Antigua and Barbuda for his statement and for the kind words addressed to the chair. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Iceland.